Hello to your students. This is the second video based on non-finites. In our previous video, we did uh, infinitives. And this video is, this was the task that we did previously. And uh, this is the video with respect to the second type of uh, non-finite, that is the gerund. Okay, so I mentioned it in the last class, that is gerund. So we will start it now. So here we go, gerunds. So it is very, very similar to the non-finite infinitive, except the form that it takes. And that is how it is differentiated from an infinitive. So gerund will take verb first form plus ing. But the role would remain same. That is, it will also be treated as a noun. That's why uh, an infinitive and a gerund both are called as verbial nouns. Yes, they are called as verbial nouns because a verb is already there, but they are doing the function of a noun. So they are called as a verbial noun and gerund takes ing form. So whatever we did in the infinitive part, we will just make opposite of that. For example, smoking. Okay, smoking is a bad habit. Okay, swimming is good exercise for the body okay lying is a bad habit so these are pretty simple examples to show that how a gerund can be treated as a noun okay or a noun in the form of a subject but if you want to convert it in object i can i can do that by writing the sentence like i like swimming so now swimming is an object here so and it is taking a gerund form so i will say i like swimming okay so that was uh, for the gerund i guess it's quick and uh, so i would love to combine the next topic in this that is participles okay so participles again come in two forms that is uh, present participles and past participles okay uh, present participles are very very similar to uh, gerunds okay so that means it takes verbs first form plus ing okay and past participles takes the form of sorry takes the form of ed or en in the end so the words like taken played okay such forms uh, can be done in the past participle so this is just an introductory form of past participle uh, or uh, another type of non-infinite, uh, non-finite that is uh, participles. In this video, we will limit ourselves to the introduction of participles only. Uh, tune into the next video to have more information about present participles and past participles. Thank you so much.